MJ? MJ, darling, it's time to wake up. I'll try to wake him up again. MJ, honey, will you please wake up? I have an idea. MJ, darling, I want to tell you about a very special animal. Really? Which animal? I'd like to hear. You were sleeping so soundly. Maybe next time I'll get a rooster to help wake you up. A rooster? Yes. The rooster's crow would wake you up right away. Cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> that would really wake me up. Is that the animal you wanted to tell me about? Yes, I wanted to tell you about the rooster. Come see. Wow, what a rooster. It's so beautiful. The rooster is a really beautiful animal. It has such lovely colors. Right. It has black shiny feathers on its tail. And its whole body is covered with brown feathers and a big red something on his head. That something is called a comb. The rooster has a big comb and hens have... Hens have smaller combs. I bet that's how you tell them apart. <laughs> Look, Grandma, <laughs> they're walking funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. MJ, can you walk like a rooster? <laughs> it's so fun, Grandma. Why don't you try? <laughs> Would I make a good rooster? <laughs> a great one. <laughs> Hey, Grandma, look! What do you think? Is that a rooster or a hen? It has a big comb, so it's a rooster. What is it doing? He's finding seeds and calling the chickens to come eat. That's nice of him. I bet it's for his kids, too. Right. Do you know what the rooster's kids are called? Sure, chicks. <laughs> That's right. And where do they come from? From the chicken's eggs. Hey, there are some chicken's eggs. That's a chicken's nest. Look how lovely and white those eggs are. Grandma, I can count the eggs. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Five eggs. Very good, MJ. Five eggs. And now the hen will sit on the eggs until the chicks are ready to hatch. And there are the chicks. They are so cute. Yes, they are covered in soft, gentle down. I wish I could hold a chick. But you have to be careful, MJ. Why? Because they're very small and fragile. Look at how the chicks are running along with the chicken. They're looking for food. Just like the grown-ups. That's right. They quickly learn to look for food. But they never stay alone. The chicken protects them until they grow. <coughs> hey, did you hear that? Yes, it's the rooster crowing. I'd like to crow like a rooster. Go ahead and try. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Now they will all come. Come where? To solve the riddle. The riddle! I'm ready for a riddle. So here's the riddle. Today, I'd like you to look. Look at what? At this picture. What do you see? It's a tail. That's right. It's a tail. But whose tail is it? Come on, that's such an easy riddle. If it's so easy, then what's the answer? It's not our tail. It must be a horse's tail. That's not what a horse looks like. Its tail is not like that at all. Then whose tail is it? Could it be mine? Is that my tail? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> That's not a your tail. Your tail doesn't look like that. <laughs> right. That's really funny. We know, we know. It's Mouse's tail. <laughs> That's really not a mouse's tail. Then whose tail is it? I know, I know. It's a whale's tail, of course. Of course, a whale's tail. Sure, I knew it. I knew that tail belonged to the whale. That's great. Now we all know whose tail it is, right? The, the whales. whales. It's time to go home, guys. Thank you for the riddle, Grandma. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. See you soon.